Hi, my name is Charles and welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we'll be unboxing the Tribit home speaker. A huge shout out to Tribit for sending this over. Here's the box. On the side we have its features. There are some texts at the back. Let's see what's inside. First up, we have the FM antenna for better reception. Next we have the power adapter. This is a Type-G plug. You might need an adapter depending on where you live. This adapter supplies 45 watts of power. Here's the manual. You can also download the PDF version on their website. Lastly, the speaker itself. At the lower part, we have the Tribit logo. It is almost entirely covered with this woven material. We have the display at the front and the touch sensitive buttons. At the bottom we have the coin cell battery compartment for the clock's memory. There's also a single button to set the time. There are two slots on the side for charging your devices. There's a type C port and a type A port which is covered by this flap. At the back we have a micro SD slot, an oxygen jack and a power slot. Here's what the back looks like. This also has a light running on its sides. Here are its dimensions. Remember to pull out the plastic and the battery compartment to activate the coin cell battery. You can use a coin to twist the battery door or risk using your nail to open it, which I did here. When you plug this speaker for the first time, you'll need to set up the time first. Use the arrows to change the setting. Tap the circle to confirm an action. Tap the plus or minus sign to adjust the time. After setting the date, you'll also need to input what day it is. The default mode is set to Bluetooth. Open the Bluetooth settings on your phone, then look for the Tribit home speaker. You can adjust the speaker's volume using your phone or the volume buttons on the speaker. You can also skip or repeat a track by using the arrow buttons. Tap the circle icon to play or pause the track. Tap the source button to switch to the 4 inputs available. Here's the aux mode. You can plug a cable at the back of the speaker then into your phone. Though I rarely use this method, it's a nice feature to have. This also has an FM radio mode. For better reception, plug the antenna to the aux in jack. You can scan through the stations by tapping the arrow buttons. You can even save up to 5 stations. To do that, select a station and then hold down the circle icon. After that, select the preset number you want by using the arrow buttons. Tap the circle icon to save it. Tap the circle icon to browse through the preset stations. You can also save your tracks to a micro SD card and play it on the speaker. I don't have a micro SD card, but the controls are similar to the Bluetooth mode. Since this is a speaker with a clock after all, Let's set an alarm. Hold down the clock icon. Set the time by using the arrow buttons and the circle icon. Then choose if you want to repeat the alarm or if you want it to ring just for today. Choose a sound for the alarm and its volume. You can also set the light to go with the alarm. Tap the circle icon to save the alarm. Tap the snooze button once to snooze it for 10 minutes. Hold down to stop the alarm. Tapping this wave icon activates the sleep music. Let's listen to the different sleep music. There's a sleep mode that will automatically put the speaker to sleep after the set time. This speaker also has a light. It has three modes, a solid color and two RGB modes. You can choose a solid color by tapping the light button and one of the arrow buttons simultaneously. You can only adjust the brightness of the white light. Another great feature this speaker has is its ability to charge your phone with its two USB outputs. The Type-A port has an output of 5 volts and 2 amperes, 
while the Type-C port has an output of 5V and 3 amperes. You can also pair another Tribit home speaker to give that 360 immersive sound. This speaker uses Bluetooth 5.0, so you get improved connection and low latency. Let's test if it has an audio delay. I can see no lag when watching, or if there are any delays, they are not that noticeable. Here's a sound test. I'm really impressed with the sound since it can be really loud without sounding distorted. What impresses me more is the price of the speaker. This really packs a lot for what you're paying. Note that this is not a rechargeable speaker, which is understandable since they positioned this as a home speaker. They do offer other speakers though that are rechargeable. Check out their website to know more. Thanks again to Tribit for sending this one. I hope you found this video interesting. If you liked it, click subscribe to get notified whenever I upload a new video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.